Hello everyone, so today I am finally filming one of my most requested videos and that is my room tour but I just wanted to apologise for the terrible lighting it was a bit bright and my camera did not like it so when you go into my bedroom I have this frame up on the wall filled with old Polaroid pictures of when I was a child and of my little brothers and then we have my big bookshelf and this is actually two bookshelves combined together and it has a mixture of university books, my favourite books, things I want to read again, that sort of thing. And on top of there we have a picture of my boyfriend and I at the Harry Potter studio tour, some jars and my little bunny nightlight. You'll probably notice as well, going around the room, that I have little random things like these hanging everywhere. <laughs> I'm obsessed. This is my really gorgeous basket that I keep all of my hair tools in and my hair products in. So you can see my hair dryer and then that pouch has my straighteners in. And then underneath my dressing table I have this gorgeous box from Dunnell Mill. On top there is a fleecy pad that I'm currently sewing for the bunnies and my memo board which needs to go back up on my wall. And then we have my chair which I got from a vintage fair. Then we have the dressing table itself which I absolutely love and we have my makeup. That tin is actually an, like a vintage chocolate tin, my nan gave me it. Um, then we've got some random little cotton pads and my lamp. On my windowsill is where I keep all of my jewellery and obviously you can see there are some candles there too. I have this little bunny ring holder but it holds bracelets. And then I have another bunny ring holder. There we have a photo of me and one of our dogs who passed away and my little cacti garden which I love, they're from Ikea. And above the window and over the dressing table I have this gorgeous bunting which I got from Amazon. It's actually just made out of paper but I still really like it. Then we reach my bedside table which my mum completely upcycled for me. She painted it cream and she put the handles on herself. I just have some little photos and a little teacup and whatever books I'm reading, plus my journal. These are the handles I was telling you about, they are so pretty, I think they were from Amazon. Then we reach my bed, which is just a cheapy Argos bed, but I absolutely love it. It's really low down, <laughs> it almost feels like a camp bed, but I still love it. As you can see, it is covered in blankets and cushions, that is just how I like it. And as is evident here, I really like mismatched cushions, I don't like them to be the same. I'm kind of like that in everything actually. People always ask me about these shelves and my dad's friend actually built them for me and put them up. On the first one we've got my camera collection minus the camera that I was obviously filming on today and my very small DVD collection. I got rid of about 50 DVDs recently um, to save space. Then we have some photos and an anniversary card. And we have my happy jar, some university books, some journals that I'm not using, and a photo. Along the whole bottom of these shelves I have some Primark fairy lights, which I think look much more expensive than they actually were. I really like how they look. Here we have my Disney princesses, and I managed to lose Ariel, and I'm so angry because it took me so long to find her. I have this little decoration from EJ Designs, and my absolute favourite la -dee -da journals. Here we have more pretty things, as you can see I just seem to like collect these sort of like little trinkets for my room. And we have some more of my books and my little money box that I put all of my change in. And yet more photo frames, again you can see that I have a lot of photos in my bedroom. Then we have more books, these are some historical fiction books even more books, these are ones that I probably won't read again, and even more books, plus some tea and sweeteners that I got when I was in Croatia. Um, not sure why they're there, but they are. Now we have my chest of drawers, which is currently one of the favourite pieces um, of furniture that I have in my bedroom. Again, my mum completely upcycled it for me. Um, she painted it cream, and then she did the drawers and the top pink, and there's baby blue drawers as well. On top we have my sewing box which I recently got from Hobbycraft and then we have this like little memo board rack thing that I've got lots of old photos in. I love that one in the middle of the bunnies when they were a trio. 
and we have a photo of my boyfriend and I, cheeky bottle of wine in the back, and some random flowers that I just finished pressing. Then we have my final bookcase, which is my TBR bookcase, so it has all of the ones that I have not read, and I'm quite proud, I've read quite a few. <laughs> we have my little jar of Yankee candles on top, my Buddha tea light holder, and my favourite ever photo of me and some of my best friends, which was taken on my 19th birthday. Here is the other end of those fairy lights, and you can see I've also got this gorgeous heart bunting that my mum got for me, and that goes about halfway along. And this is my bathroom door. I figured you don't need to see my bathroom. <laughs> Next to that is my scrapbooking unit, which is an IKEA Kallax unit. I've raved about this before, you guys know that I absolutely love it. On top we've got my pot full of Sharpies and some pots full of embellishments. My IKEA basket, which has my letter stickers and some planner stuff in. My giant jar of washi tapes and my little embellishment tower, which I absolutely love. I got that last weekend when I was shopping with my boyfriend. And here is my planner, which is always open to the current day. Then we have my main scrapbooks, and this, <laughs> this little cubby hole just gets more and more full <laughs> every day. It's full of little racks and baskets of embellishments, and oh, it's so pretty. And these boxes just have old scrapbooks in, and random stationery bits and bobs. So yeah. That is my bedroom, I will give you a 360 degree view of everything again. It's not a massively big room, but it's also not tiny, um, however I do have a lot of stuff. I am one of those people that seems to accumulate things, and I like things to be pretty, so I do buy a lot of photo frames, I do buy a lot of trinkets for my bedroom, um, I don't think that'll ever stop. Everything has a place, which I think stops it from looking untidy, but I will be the first one to admit that my room is cluttered and I do have a lot going on in there. So yeah, this was really, really requested. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it wasn't great quality, but if you have any questions, let me know. Bye!